Hello guys, it's me Beata from horoscopesandreadings.com and today I am here with a new pick a card reading. I know that it has actually been a while since I uploaded but I'm back and I decided to make a video to make a pick a card about who is spying on you and why, okay? So, so this one can actually be quite refreshing, you know, to make. So let's see what we can find out. As usually, we have five piles, five, oh my God, we have three piles to choose from. So, you know, uh, see which one resonates the best with you and your energy and uh, see you at your pile. So this is actually pile number one. This mixture of crowns, okay. This is actually pile number two. This mixture of butterflies. And this is pile number three. These, you know, violet slash pink butterflies as well. So take as much time as you need and yeah, see you at your pile. Okay, hello, hello everyone who has chosen pile number one. This is going to be your reading. So in today's video, we are going to look at who is spying on you and why. Okay, so first, uh, let me pull some cards because so uh, this is actually how i start all my readings and then i will tell you more so we have four of pentacles we have world okay we have three of pentacles we have nine of cups okay yes Okay, I just need to adjust my camera a little bit and let's continue. What else do we have? Okay, we have six of pentacles. Now, let's see who is spying on you. Who is spying on my pile number one? We have lovers. Okay, we have three of cups. We have eight of cups. We have ten of pentacles. Okay, we have the Emperor, right? Yeah, so the second row is actually much clearer to me than the first one. Okay, and let's take a look on his or her reasons why this person is spying on you. Okay, so we have Page of Cups, we have Strands, we have Ten of Pentacles. We have King of Pentacles. We have Five of Swords. And we have Ten of Swords. Okay. So, uh, first of all, we have Aries energy represented here. We, we also have some Pentacles. We have also Gemini here. So, some Earth is represented here as well. So, what can I say? I mean... Um, who is this person is the main question and then i'm going to answer and tell you why is this person spying on you and maybe how even so first of all this is someone who is very well known to you okay this can be someone who is actually or has been actually part of your family so this is either your ex-husband or this can be your ex-boyfriend but you know this is not just a fling okay so you have been involved with this person maybe on and off but maybe you know you had like some sort of solid relationship but uh, simply you have been involved uh, together for I will say a long time or you actually had something serious between both of you because this is that guy this is his energy and uh, even cards that are surrounded uh, by him it, it, it is really talking about love interest so this at some point was your partner your lover 
but but still you know there is still that clinginess so i will say that uh, this person is still clinging on to you and really doesn't want to let you go this is what i see because simply you made uh, them very happy and uh, at one point of their life they simply believed that you are great match that you are a great team and that you really work very very well together okay so uh, yeah uh, for some of you this was on and off because we have lovers and three of cups so this is energy that is a little bit unstable a little bit erratic you know and we really cannot put a finger on it what is the current status of your relationship but uh, i am pretty sure that uh, you know who i'm talking about some of you actually have kids or kid uh, with this person but uh, for one reason or another uh, it was still very difficult for you to let this person go and vice versa okay so dominant energy someone who who was probably very much uh, you know in masculine energy and wanted to have things going his way this is what i see here now why is this person spying on you okay why we have ten of pentacles again so this is very interesting so again it's like it's like uh, you have family with this person and this is the reason why he's actually spying on you or why he finds it's still very important to spy on you we have kid again okay for those of you who don't have actually kid with this person this person is spying of you because he's simply enjoying what he sees okay he likes to see your pictures pictures of your family even of your kids and we have four of pentacles and we have strands so this means that uh, yes this person doesn't want to let you go and uh, there is some sort of uh, possessiveness okay so this person is still being possessive towards you and this is the the reason why he's still spying on you many various forms okay this is not just the internet this can be actually even face to face and somehow or, or somehow he can actually see you or things like that we have five of swords and ten of swords so yeah ending <coughs> happened in this connection and this is actually your person and uh, he doesn't like or somehow he he didn't accept maybe the reasons or he didn't accept um status quo of your current relationship and uh, and this is the reason why he still cannot let you go yeah ten of swords it's kind of ending so so he he's spying on on you because uh, this relationship simply ended and uh, <clears throat> he probably doesn't have any more information of what he can uh, uh, so, so he's actually trying to find ways uh, what he can find out about you okay but this is not actually something creepy this is just someone who is still curious who is still attached and uh, he's not able to let you go okay so now i'm going to pull three cards about what are his uh, next steps towards you three cards very simple if there will be any movement towards you i mean i don't even know if you want it but let's just see what we can see okay we have eight of swords uh, we have two of swords and we have hanged man okay this is something i already felt in my gut or in my stomach so for now uh, this connection is being uh, on, on pause on hold so yeah you will have to wait uh i mean if you are even interested you will have to wait for his next move a little bit more because i don't expect any movement at all pretty much uh in upcoming months from now okay in upcoming four weeks i don't see him reaching out to you he is pretty much uh, in his you know safe distance and he's observing you and this is what he 
is uh, actually willing to do uh, in upcoming months, but uh, he is not making any move towards you now or in upcoming four weeks. Okay, okay, guys. So this was your reading. Thank you very much. Uh, just a small reminder because I'm also a tarot reader, so I can definitely uh, read your cards. The way how I work is that you can ask me up to five questions and I'm able to answer those questions just by using tarot cards. So if you are interested, you can definitely book a reading with me. It, it's really pretty simple. Everything is listed in the description below this video. Okay, my pile one. Uh, I wish you all the best. Uh, thanks for watching and yeah, see you soon. Okay, hello, hello everyone. This reading is for everybody who has chosen this beautiful green and pink uh, butterflies, these doves. So we are going to look at who is spying on you and why and maybe even how, I don't know. If I will be able to tell you, I will for sure tell you. So first of all, uh, if you are not subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button because you will not miss any of my videos. I'm astrologer, but I'm also a tarot reader. So yeah, you can definitely order or book a reading with me with tarot cards. Uh, I actually, the way I work is that you can ask me up to five questions and I will answer those questions for you in a reading so it is actually very simple to order from me you know just uh, just uh, see the description of this video and uh, you can book me for a reading yes okay so let's do this who is spying on you let's start let's get started first of all what i need to do and i always do it you know i have to I have to put all the cards on the table so I will get a big picture of what is really going on here. So we have six of wands, we have five of wands, we have moon, we have six of cups and we have nine of wands. Okay, great. So let's continue. Who is spying on you? Okay, we have eight of wands. We have nine of swords. Yes, we have eight of cups. Who is spying on you? Six of cups again. Oh my goodness. Page of swords. Queen of swords. Right. Okay, why is this person spying on my pile number two? Eight of Pentacles, High Priestess, right. We have Seven of Pentacles, we have Queen of Cups, mm -hmm. we have Four of Pentacles, and we have Ace of Swords. On the bottom of the deck is Chariot. So. This chariot card is actually talking about duality. So I will say that uh, what I can pick up on are actually two energies of two different or very different people who are spying on you. Okay, so you have two people uh, who are spying on you. First person who is coming through in this reading is uh, someone with whom you had a fight. Okay. See this couple as they are fighting and you know she is leaving or he is leaving. I don't even know who is leaving, but 
but uh, they are in this you know nasty battle and uh, this is actually someone with whom you had maybe maybe lately this type of battle and this is the person who is spying on you okay yes a uh, lot of disagreements a lot of anxiety over this connection and then you left so probably it was you who was uh, you know packing suitcases and and uh, you left so we have soulmate uh, connection so even though yeah soulmate and spiritual connection so even though that you probably uh, I don't know didn't know that uh, you have such a strong bond you certainly do because uh, we have moon and we have six of cups so so this is the type of connection where if uh, you are thinking about them then they are thinking about you okay so this is actually the type of connection that is very deep that is very you know spiritual and maybe uh, full moon cycles can be important for this connection so yeah this is obviously someone you already know very well and uh, the reason why this person is actually spying on you is that secretly uh, this person is hoping that things will work out between both of you and eventually you will be able to start all over again okay so there is that energy of uh, him um, being willing uh, to work on things you know not to give up to be very even uh, even really willing to put in the effort but this is all held in secrecy as we have this high priestess card here okay now another thing uh, or <laughs> think another person who is actually spying on you this is female okay we have female energy because we have this uh, queen of swords so this is someone very intelligent very very intellectual you know this can very well be someone uh, someone from your work or if you're a student this can be your you know co-student this can be someone from your school because we have uh, we have or, or her qualities uh, are that she's somehow studying and and uh, she she is actually trying to <coughs> she is actually trying to make a sense of things okay so so this is the person you know queen of swords uh, she is uh, often uh, described as a cold individual as a cold lady uh, but uh, in this case uh, or in your case uh, her energy is very sympathetic because uh, the reasons why she's spying on you is that she likes you a lot okay we have queen of cups so 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 this woman obviously has feelings for you and she wishes you all the best in a sense uh, she's quite possessive over you so yeah this can actually be also your mother or some uh, some other female energy but uh, again a lot of swords are surrounded around this queen of swords so so uh, you know who i'm talking about here because um, she is someone who will always tell you the truth okay <clears throat> so she's someone who will always tell you the truth so you will not be confused so maybe she is your friend she is that one friend who will tell you straight to your face if you are doing something wrong etc but definitely you can rely on her okay and her intentions are pure uh, she has her best intentions in her heart so yeah don't worry about it so before i end your reading i want to know about this person number one if he will actually make a move or any move towards you in upcoming four weeks so let's see three cards or oh, devil so we have devil we have ten of cups right and the last card what we have is ten of swords so yeah <coughs> 
So what I see here is that he will maintain uh, his secrecy. Okay. So I don't see him uh, making any move towards you. Uh, even though we have ten of cups, but to me uh, this feels like this is his own life, and uh, this has nothing to do with making any move towards you. When it comes to Queen of Swords, if she will, yeah, she is kind of your friend. So, so I will say that I expect that uh, she will make a move. We have three of cups. We have nine of cups. I mean, this can be someone with whom you are a good friend or you are in a, in a group of friends together but you definitely it looks like uh, you have this day-to-day -day interaction so uh, so you will <clears throat> you will be in touch you will continue to be in touch uh, together still okay okay guys so uh, this was uh, your reading thank you very much for uh, watching i really do appreciate it if you are interested you can definitely book a reading with me and uh, see you soon bye bye okay hello hello everyone who has chosen pal number three these violet butterflies this is your reading i'm your astrologer my name is beata and i'm also a tarot reader so in case you will be interested you can definitely book a private reading with me the way i work is that i will answer up to five questions you know whatever questions might be uh you can ask me i actually predict future up to nine months okay so this is actually the only let's say limitation but uh, this is how i work and this is what i can promise you that that forecasting future with tarot cards you know with astrology it's different but with tarot cards it is uh, the best up to let's say nine months okay this is my my rule so yeah, everything what is important for you to know and also how to book a reading with me, uh, everything essential you will find in the description below under this video. So we can start. Let's see who is spying on you and why. And maybe I will also tell you how, okay? We have four of swords. We have eight of cups we have full right so who is spying on mm, three of swords yeah we have some hard day going on we have strength so who is a uh, spying on you okay we have sun we have seven of swords we have five of pentacles who is spying on you who is spying on my pile number three we have ten of wands we have six of pentacles we have ten of cups okay now i want to know why this person is spying on my pile number three we have two of cups mm. We have unknown, the unknown card. Eight of Wands. Okay, we have the Temperance. What else do we have? Page of Swords. Why is this person spying on you? King of Wands. Okay, guys. So, you know, I already told you because this is very striking and this is what immediately caught my attention was this three of swords card okay this is heartache this is heartbreak you know this is someone who actually feels that uh, his heart is broken or her heart is broken okay this person 
probably acted uh, foolishly in the past towards you maybe uh, there were some deceptions lies you know this person is clearly taking uh, something what he believes belongs to him but uh, he's running away and uh, you know deceitful actions are present here so maybe you know at one point you felt very disappointed by this person and you left because we have eight of cups currently you are on the pause currently you are probably in no contact in no communication but definitely uh energy of this person feels a little bit off you know it looks like uh he he now feel that he has been left outside you know like in the cold and and he's alone and you really don't care about him so yeah uh, maybe you feel like he has uh, broke your heart okay and this can very well be the truth but what i sense uh, here uh, in this pile three that you know as feelings were mutual also hurt is mutual now and uh, and uh, this is very problematic okay uh, maybe uh, this person was not mature enough or was not capable at that time to give you what you wanted from him or needed but definitely there were some lies and disappointments and this is how how you can recognize this person who this person is well why is he still interested okay why is he doing this why is he spying on you actually so we have two of cups so so there's love you know love is still there as we have ten of cups here so so maybe at one point you believed or you even planned that you will have a family together future fam future together and you will be happy together the reason why this person is spying on you is that he still feel, feels a lot of love and attraction towards you. you know there is that there is that love attraction but also there is that like physical attraction that he just cannot help okay we literally have a tarot card of spire here okay this is spy so he's spying on you because uh, he simply cannot help okay so so these are his his reasons because love is still there there is like like mutual interest in one another but uh, what i also see here in these cards is that a lot of damage was caused by actions of this person so let's see because i would like to know if this person will actually make any move towards you in upcoming months okay in upcoming four weeks what you can expect uh, from this person i will pull three cards for you we have the hermit we have ace of pentacles okay uh, to me this is clear sign that uh, this person will be making a move towards you in upcoming four weeks okay let's see because I, I see him reaching out uh, towards you. So let's see what are his intentions. Okay, why he will do that, actually. Star, hmm, judgment, okay. So probably uh, he uh, will be getting ready uh, for serious talk, okay? because i see him reaching out uh, towards you because he really wants to talk to you and uh, this has actually tone of seriousness okay so <clears throat> yeah this person will will talk seriously um uh, and uh, there is this judgment so so chances are actually that this person will ask for a second chance because yeah simply he will not be able to help himself okay because there is love present okay guys so this was your reading thank you very much once again if you are interested you can definitely book a personal with me it is very simple very easy 
just uh, read the description below and uh, I'm able to answer um, up to five questions in one reading, one tarot reading at a time, okay? Okay, guys, thanks for watching. I love you all. Please hit the subscribe button and support my channel. And yeah, see you soon. Bye-bye.